Hey guys, welcome to Artist Corner. Um, today I'm going to be drawing Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy because Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 uh, just came out, I think, last week. Uh, I just saw the first movie and I reviewed it over on my D3 Media channel and I will hopefully soon be seeing the second movie and reviewing it. I know I'm pretty late to the game, but, you know, got other stuff to do. But I will be seeing the movie as soon as I can and I will review it for my channel. So uh, be excited to see that. And if you guys are interested in seeing my movie reviews, be sure to check out my D3 Media channel. Uh, the links are to all my other channels are on the uh, on my Artist Corner page. So uh, with this drawing, uh, I'm doing it like how I do a lot of these uh, sketch card drawings uh, with pencils, inks, and uh, Copic color markers. And uh, one thing I found really fun about the movies is that they looked a lot like the old Jack Kirby comics with that really bright colors, you know, a lot of really psychedelic looking uh, space scenes and stuff like that. And I wanted to do a little bit of that here, um, you know, to kind of make it look like, you know, for one, the movie and, you know, for sec number two, the uh, Jack Kirby uh, comics. So, uh, yeah, it's really, uh, this was a fun drawing to do. I see I had a little... A little bit of problems for shortening and like I'm still having problems with the uh, the head proportions on male like on females are the heads are usually a little bit bigger on males are a little bit smaller you know so I'm uh, been working on that and been working on my anatomy proportions a lot lately and for shortening and uh, hands those are like the big things that I'm really been trying to work on um, I think the foreshortening came out okay on her arm with the, the sword coming through. What I've been practicing a lot lately is like extreme foreshortening. Because I've been looking a lot at, uh, sorry, my cell phone. Sorry, that was my cell phone, just went off. <laughs> Godzilla. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, oh yeah, the, uh, the foreshortening. I've been looking a lot at old Jack Kirby drawings and how he used to do foreshortening and everything because I figured, you know, since I have a, a more cartoonish style, maybe I should look at artists that aren't as realistic but have styles a little bit more similar to mine. So I've been looking a lot at Jack Kirby. I've been looking a lot at Ed McGuinness, um, Todd Nock. Uh, Arthur Adams and everything and that all their art styles are amazing I just like think that they are excellent artists. I, I strive to be as good as them But I've been looking at some of the tricks that they use and uh, Jack Kirby's the one I think that I've been like I can relate to the most with foreshortening because he does a lot of extreme Foreshortening like you know, it just goes from like this little tiny arm to this, this huge hand coming at you And that's really what I've been uh, been working on and honestly it, it's it works out pretty well for me. I, I like the way it looks. It's it's easier for me to draw, but uh, I, I will still like. I'm I'm thinking about saving up and getting some art books that I could get um, that I can, you know to cover uh, foreshortening and things like that. Um, I know there's one uh, Hogarth and a few others that people keep telling me to get uh, some comic book artists and everything that have given me advice. So um, yeah. I'm also working on an Alien vs. Predator vs. Terminator vs. Robocop drawing that uh, will be up uh, shortly, at least the penciling stages of that, and that's the celebration of Alien Covenant coming out because I was going to do some stuff for Alien Covenant. So uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. That's a, It's coming out way better than I thought it would. So and One thing that I'm learning a lot, I'm trying to learn with the Copic colors is to blend them a lot more. and and things like that so uh yeah like I, the copa colors are, are they're a new thing to me i'm the coloring has never been my thing but i am uh I, i'm getting into it more and more and it is really fun I, I think it's it's fun to really see your drawing come to life Now I'm going to be attending a couple comic book conventions this uh, coming up pretty soon, mainly this summer over in the Bay Area here in California. And I know Arthur Adams, one of my favorite comic book artists, 
and a huge influence on me will be appearing at a bunch of them so uh, I'll hopefully be able to show my portfolio to him there I am preparing a Godzilla uh, port art sample what I'm going to do is that because they want sequential art I got this idea I think it was Joe Quesada said that this was the best kind of portfolio you could do it's a 12 page portfolio and the first page you're gonna do with those you're gonna do three four page stories the first page on each story is gonna be the cover and then the rest of them are gonna be sequential art and you want to do like you know one action comic you wanted the next one you want to be like a group comic to show you can draw like groups like the justice league or the x-men and then on the last one you want to do something that's really quiet and you know like just a conversation so i was going to do um for this portfolio that i'm putting together for the upcoming conventions uh the first one is going to be godzilla um i believe the second one will probably be like the hulk uh Maybe he's at a bar or something and like somebody, you know, makes him mad at the bar and he gets mad and, you know, hulks out. And then the third one I was probably going to do just Superman talking to maybe his mother and father out on his farm out in Kansas. Something like that. You know, and uh, also like maybe uh, maybe I might switch one of them out for like Justice League or an X-Men story. Something like that because I need to get a group one in. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I'm going to be preparing some more uh, portfolios I want to send up I want to send them off to IDW uh, comics because I want to try to get in I figured maybe if I try to go for like the the smaller publisher companies before DC and Marvel I might be able to get some work in there so I'd love to work on Alien or Predator or something like that because I'm a huge fan of those movies and I'd love to work on the comic books and Godzilla especially Godzilla love Godzilla So I used the Uniball White Gel Pen to do the stars. Um, that's something that uh, Todd Knock, uh, a trick that I learned from Todd Knock. A lot of the supplies and everything that I use are stuff that Todd Knock uses, and it's just, and lots of other comic book artists. And like, I'm really happy that I discovered his YouTube channel uh, because it's been just a tremendous help. And there I go, like I'm putting in some of those bright colors, trying to make it look Kirby-esque. I'd like to start drawing more like that with the really bright colors and things like that. And the problem is that I usually don't make it to coloring on a lot of stuff that's big, a lot of my bigger drawings, but I'm going to try to color that Alien vs. Predator vs. Terminator vs. Robocop. It rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? I'm going to try to color that drawing and uh, see how it goes. And here's my finished Gamora drawing. Um, Really happy with the way it came out. I love the colors. I love, you know, I just think, you know, she's a really great design. She's fun to draw and uh, loved Guardians of the Galaxy. Make sure you check out my review for that over on my D3 Media channel. I have other uh, videos that I'm editing right now to upload. So be on the lookout for that, especially my Aliens versus Predator versus Terminator versus Robocop drawing. Like I said, just rolls off the tongue. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, DeviantArt, all my social media networks. I have them listed in the link, uh, the links down below. You can also check out my website if you'd like to order any commissions from me or buy any artwork that I have posted up on my website. Just go ahead and uh, check, click the link down below to my website, and I have directions on there how you can buy art and order commissions from me, and I'd be happy to do it. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching once again, and uh, take care. Happy drawing.